Ah, good morning. So of course, um, we are we are at the new Cosmos Church Station. Beautiful sunny day in the city. We're just north of the city. We're leaving the prop. We're in the city of Lindenburg, but that really is beside the point. So we just um did a renovation of this station that included adding a restaurant space, more platforms, and pretty much more everything. So with that being said, we're going to we're gonna take a look at um the Cosmos Church Station to see what it has to offer. As you know, before we got the renovation, the Cosmos Church Station used to can only accommodate three trains, the red, the brown, and the purple. But after this new renovation, it is now one of the largest and highest capacity stations in the network. As you see on the map, right here is Cosmos Church Station. This station services the 1, 2, 3, 4, red, purple, and brown trains. So here's how this station could be is to be used. So the way the station is laid out is that all colored service trains will meet in hub one so this is this wing of the building this is the old wing so on this platform which was renovated the wall was taken out this was combined into an island platform where you have the navigation desk this is a navigation desk it's the first one in the system so all brown and red trains will convene on this platform. This is the southbound red platform, and this is the northbound. Um, this is the southbound brown platform, and this is the red northbound platform. Excuse me. Wait, what was that? Let me check. Let me let me check with my supervisor real quick. Okay, so I got I had it mixed up. So this red line platform, when you board the train, it is going to take you south to the airport. While the brown line, when you board here. It's going to take you south to Grand Central Hunter College. So both of these are southbound trains. And on the outside, both are northbound. So they go two separate directions. Now, one interesting thing I would like to show you is this new map here. This is the new map for the KRTA system. Right now... We are where all of these different lines meet up. Of course, Grand Central and Cosmos Church is in fact connected by an express red line train. So there is more convenience there. Let's go to the purple. Elevators were also added into the station for convenience and also to comply with ADA guidelines. Over there where you see the crane, a new pedestrian bridge is being built over to the Walmart. So on the northbound platform of the purple line, you will see these murals here. And then you will also see how it's been designed to be more open. Extra stairs were added as well as a mural on the opposite end of the platform going south.
here is the new pair, fair payment system. So, of course, uh, many people already know how it works. You throw an item into the hopper, and then you will receive a ticket, which is a mine card. Over here is another restaurant space that has not yet been leased. The fair gates, when they when we start doing fair barriers, right now it's a proof of payment system. But when we start doing fair barriers, they will most likely go in here. Because what happened is you will have to transfer from the colored services into the numbered services due to the fact that at the majority of stations they're not necessarily they're not necessarily on top of each other. Normally you do have to transfer. Here we are on the numbered services side. So here serves the one, two, three, and four trains. This is the one train. Here, the emblem for the the emblem for the two train has this is the two train, the emblem for the three train has not yet changed. The three train is actually marked as yellow. So the two and the three train will park here. This is the end of the line for those two services, as well as the one train. Over here is the four train, which is a circle train. Over here is where trains do go both directions because they run in a continuous loop. We will discuss more about our new circle line feature later. Through here is the parking. There is a parking garage right there. This is where you will pay for parking. Over there is your breeze machine, is your um, fair payment system. With that being said, let's go and check one of the most nicest park amenities of the station. Wheelchair ramp for the disabled. The parking. Yes, Cosmos Church Station has some of the most, most parking spaces. Grand Central Hunter College is opting to get rid of a lot of its parking because most of it is underused anyway. Cosmos Church Station needs the parking way more due to the fact that, of course, the highway is right there. Many people will actually come to Cosmos Church Station just to use its parking lot. Never mind the fact that you see that church over there, that's the Cosmos Church Bethany Beyond Jordan building. It has its own parking garage, but it could get pretty overcrowded. So a lot of people will park in this parking garage here and here just to avoid having to fight for parking. But however, be careful, you cannot park in the Walmart parking lot or your car shall be towed. As you can see, it's, it, there's literally a spider web of train tracks all around the station. Trains tend to move at slower speeds when entering or exiting Cosmos Church Station due to the fact that there are so many tight turns and steep hills. Of course, Cosmos Church Station was not necessarily one of the most space-conscious designs. It basically was built quick, fast, and in a hurry. And when you do such a thing, you kind of run out of room very quickly. So space is poorly maximized. This platform is supposed to be the National Rail Services platform, but it is absolutely closed right now and is only used so that freight trains can pass through, which 
reminds me. Anytime a rail car passes over these buttons, these gates will rise, blocking traffic. As you can see, that's how that works. Over here is a bus terminal where buses are supposed to drive through, but right now it is closed. A lot of things are closed on the KRTA, but we're opening back up. We're hoping to get rid of our mask mandate closer to June. This way we'll be able to ride mask free. One thing that is astounding about this station is just how close another station is to it. This station is called Eskridge. It is the last station on the northern end of the Brown Line. And yes, in fact, it is rather close to Coswell's Church. Eskridge Station has not yet opened because they still have yet to put in a staircase as I have asked. Neighborhoods around Coswell's Church Station includes Lindenburg, Durdensville. Woodward Academy is located less than two miles away from the station. However, there is another station that that school would utilize. But the Bethany Beyond Jordan building is located right down the street. And yes, this is a big, big church. As we get closer and closer into downtown Melchizedek, you'll start to see buildings get taller and taller. The reason why the Cosmos Church Station is one of the most important stations in the network is because it provides a very good distant transfer point between a lot of our different services. You do not have to go all the way to the city to get a good transfer and you do not have to transfer basically all the way out in rural areas either. Right now we are passing the city of Melchizedek Detention Center, which is the central jail for the city of Melchizedek. You have the central police service station. You have a few skyscrapers that are under construction. Construction is a huge issue in the city of Melchizedek. Right now, we are passing the city of Melchizedek Courthouse. If you look to the left, you will see Kravitz Academy. The stadium is also to the right. If you take a look at this aerial shot here, you can see construction, many things happening. This is the central yard for Grand Central Hunter College. Although no longer the main yard, it is still one of the most important yards in the system. We're now passing Barfield Arena. This is War Memorial Park.
So right here is our city hall, the brown wooden building to your left. This is Carnegie City Hall Station, which is currently under investigation because a villager was struck and killed by a train in the station approximately a month ago. And we're going to end the tour off over here at the Egerton Transit Center. So this is one of, again, the most important bus hubs in the city. This area over here is under a lot of development, but this is the Egerton Transit Center. I led that big gray building right next to it is in fact KRTA headquarters. The Egerton Transit Cent tra the, the Egerton Transit Mall, excuse me, can accommodate 40 buses and there is a train line that runs on top. The two train stops at Egerton Transit Mall. So any passenger that wants regional bus service through the city, they can get off at Egerton Transit Mall. Also services that stop at Egerton is a regional express bus service. You will also have Greyhound Intercity Bus Service. Megabus also uses this hub. And you'll have a lot of bus rapid transit options. One thing that probably might not strike you as odd is the amount of Walmarts that currently exist in this city. Walmart is actually the number one retailer in the city of Melchizedek. So you can see the state office building. Let's go ahead and look inside the KRTA headquarters. Now each floor looks does in fact look the same, so we're not going to go into all the floors. But the most fascinating feature of this building would definitely have to be its conference room. This is the boardroom that the KRTA uses. So this is where meetings are held, public meetings, work sessions, all of it is done in here. All of the members of the KRTA Board of Directors will meet right here. Well, thank you for joining us on this tour of the new KRTA architecture. And we hope you have a wonderful day.